Today we're going to be looking at application or task grouping on the ScreenPad 2.0. Let's say that you quite frequently use Word and PowerPoint together and have them both launched at the same time on your main display. To get them there, you would go to your taskbar and double click on each individual icon to bring them up separately. But with ScreenPad 2.0, you can create a task group to launch them both simultaneously. Let's see how that works. You begin the process by having your two applications loaded onto the main display. We have Word on the left, PowerPoint on the right. Okay, so now that your applications are on the main display, you can go to ScreenPad, swipe to the right, and you'll see three empty groups. Click on one of the groups, and it will automatically pull the icons for Word and PowerPoint into the group. Now you can click on the title and change the title to Word and PowerPoint. Hit Done once you're finished with the title. Hit Done again to say that you're finished with the grouping and there you go. Now you have Word and PowerPoint together in a group. If you want to edit the group or delete the group, press and hold down, click on the trash can and it deletes the group. Another way to do this, on the main home page for a spring pad, click on the control panel and where it says task group capture, click that. And scroll to the left, scroll and it's already there. You can click down and hold it, hit edit, and here you can change the title click done twice and there you are. So now let's see how it works. We'll go and we'll close ones that are currently on the display. Wait for the power the spring pad to come back up. Swipe once to the right, tap the grouping, and screen pad launches automatically Word and PowerPoint. And that is how you create groupings in ScreenPad 2. Thank you for watching tonight. If you have any comments or any questions, please leave them down in the comments section. Over on this side is a link to my original video for the unboxing and the first look at the 532EQ. And on this side is a subscription link to the channel. Thank you again for watching and hopefully we'll see you next time.